Okay. As if being a veterinarian isn't hard enough. Um, doctor, doctor politics, doctor client politics. Then there's this crazy employee politics. Anyway, um, this is uh, what's left of a snake. It's been through uh, two doctors. Anyway, uh, I was asked to give this a second opinion um, just before it was euthanized by, uh, by the powers that be. And uh, it turns out that just after swabbing this, um, we found out that we have a fungal infection. The bad news is this was found so late after antibiotic therapy and so forth that uh, we weren't able to save this snake and we ended up going ahead and putting him to sleep. Um, anyway, so for you vet students, uh, you veterinarians out there, you wanting to do exotics, I recommend, I highly recommend, never let a lesion go without looking at it under the microscope. Anybody could have looked at this and said, oh, that's an infection. But without putting it under the microscope, you're not going to know if it's bacterial or fungal um, or even be able to rule out a virus or rule in a virus because you ruled out the other things. Anyway, um, cytology is one of the most important parts of medicine. Every disease starts somewhere, and it usually starts in the smallest of places, in the smallest of fashions, with the tiniest bit of evidence. And if you can put that tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of evidence under a microscope and look at it at uh, 10, 100, 400, or 1,000 times magnification, then you can take that tiny little sample and you can change an animal's life. This, uh, this snake never had that chance, never got that cytology until it was too late. So, if you're a vet student, if you're a veterinarian, if you're a technician, and there's ever a lesion that comes before you, be it snake, bird, dog, cat, rat, it doesn't matter. If you can see that lesion and put that small amount of, of tissue, the tiniest amount of tissue under a microscope, then you can make a diagnosis very, very quickly. Especially if it's infectious. Um, okay, so... The good news is the snake is out of its misery. Having lost all this skin here would be like a human being going through half their body with uh, third degree burns or worse. So it was best that we went ahead and put this guy down. The bad news was he spent about three weeks in therapy and uh, it just, uh, it wasn't working. Okay. Cytology was all that was needed. All right, ruined my night. Good night, later.